So this video is, this part of the video series is pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to be installing Wine and its dependencies. And first you want to sudo, sudo dnf group install uh, c development tools and libraries. Okay, so we're going to do that first, of course. And just hit Y to agree to this. We should be good. I'm going to stop saying end so much. I don't want to end up like other YouTubers. Then we're going to install development tools from group install. So like this. Okay. When we do this, we'll only be taking up 60 megabytes. What we want to get out of is what most people call dependency hell. That way we'll have the most compatible install possible without having little to no issues with any of the games that we run, such as maybe if you want to run something from Origins. Now, I'm, this may look like a lot, but I will leave a link in the description below that will allow you to deal with all this, okay? Hit enter. And you will hit Y. And you can see there might be something in here that conflicts. I don't know. Everything will grab nice and quick. Come on, please work. I had an issue a minute ago when trying to do this. Yeah, there's the same issue. And the problem is there's nothing I can do about it. So I just got to find out why it why it's conflicting with itself. Should not conflict at all. Oh, it's an i36 package. So it wants to install of this one, this one. So maybe we can force an installation. Who knows? Uh, where exactly was this put? I'll try to figure this out. When I was editing this video, I forgot to tell you, you have to do sudo dnf install wind-x uh, uh, dxvk. You can see the command right in front of you on the right-hand side. Um, my bad. Sorry about that. Just enter it into the terminal after you're done with Wine, and everything should install as normal. Sorry again. Well, I managed to figure it out. Sadly, you have to go and manually download this file. Okay. And then you have to manually install it. That sucks. That really does suck. But once you have it downloaded, you just sudo dnf install and drop the file into the terminal, hit enter, and it will install perfectly fine. The issue is that it just couldn't tell the difference between the two files. It didn't understand that at the end one had i686 and the other one didn't. I, I don't know what else to tell you. You know, it's uh, pretty annoying, but we have to go back to our little website to uh, get everything all sorted because I want to finish this video. And it wasn't meant to take too long of a time, you see. So where is the thing I wanted to do? There it is. And as I said, Glorious Egg Roll's blog on getting out of wine dependency hell uh, really does help. And then you just gotta go and install pseudo DNF wine. So, yeah. And I just hit no on that because I already installed everything. We're going to hit sudo install wine. What version are we going to get here? Uh, 5.18. So, yeah, 5.18 is fine. As you can see, everything is going to hopefully install fine this time. Which would be very nice. 31, 34. This is the big file. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of stuff in here. But after this, you should be set up and good to go to run anything, even you play uh, Epic Games Store, Origins if you need to, uh, Windows version of Steam through Wine. I don't know why you do that when you have Proton, and a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, you can install everything, and you should be good to go after this. Like that, see? Nice and fast. Is it finished? 83 out of 83. Now when we go to wine config. Yep. No issues. You go to about, you can see wine 5.18. Well, that's pretty much it. You now know how to install DXVK and both wine and get through dependency hell. I've also showed you how to set up Steam. I went over the operating system with you. I showed you how to install anything that you'll pretty much need to. And if you don't know how to do it, 
on Googling's your friend, just put RPM at the end and you'll figure it out or search the name of the application and Fedora. Someone out there has a repo. I It's kind of hard to show you how to install drivers, but I think that will probably be the last video because um, you're going to need your drivers after all, right? Your NVIDIA drivers. As I already told you, AMD's drivers are already built into the OS. You don't need to deal with those. But I do wish in the future that Fedora would include NVIDIA drivers. I know they definitely won't. I mean, they're a stickler for that type of thing, but it would help a lot of users just out of the box. Like Manjaro has a menu that says free or non-free. Choosing non-free will detect your NVIDIA GPU and install those drivers for you. Adding something like that during installation would be pretty killer. You wouldn't even have to include it in the distro. It could basically be an option to download the drivers for you and install them during the installation. All right, on to the next part, I guess. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content such as this, and I will see you in the next video.